right, here I am again with another tip for Google Drawings. So I'm going to show you today how to quickly make uh, an image just by using the shapes. So I did a previous tutorial about how shapes work. So you're just going to go up here and click on the little arrow. And what we're going to make is just a simple phone, a simple smartphone. So the shapes we're going to need for that are a rounded uh, corner rectangle. So we're going to take that first. We're going to drag it out, make it approximate size of a phone, just like that, and then let go. That's not really the color of a phone, so I'm going to change the fill color to black or like a slate gray. Great. Now we need our screen. So when you look at an iPhone, um, the screen is just a regular rectangle. So I'm going to drag it approximately in the center here, uh, like that. And then when I've got my four corners, I can actually move my item around. So I know by those grid lines, that red line there, that it's actually going to line up with the center. So that's good. Another trick is if you want something to be very slightly moved, you can hit shift while you're moving it with your arrow keys on your keyboard and then you can move it really slowly. If I'm not holding shift, so right now I'm holding shift and you can see how it's slightly moving. If I let go of shift and move it, it moves in bigger steps. So the shift just allows you to move it uh, just in little bits, okay? So, I mean, it's starting to look like a phone. It's not perfect. The next thing I'm gonna try is a circle. And we're gonna put that here for our little front facing camera. And then maybe another uh, round sided uh, rectangle to make our speaker there. And now we're missing the home button. So another circle. Pop it in there. You can change uh, the shape of it if you want it to be more rounded or less rounded by fixing these. Okay, it's a little bit off, so we're going to use shift and move over a bit. If we want the home button to have the circle around it again, we can make another circle and pop it inside that one. Okay. And there you have it. With about five shapes, you've made a phone. You can get even more creative and start creating little app icons if you want inside. Or um, I've done an activity on with my classes where I made these iPhone stickies and the children had to uh, write about uh, a chapter of a novel that we were reading in a tweet form. So they had to tweet as someone in the character. So again, just the same cool tip. If you double click in any shape, you can type in that shape. Uh, so you won't have to drag in a separate text box for that. So there you have it, a quickly made iPhone with just a few shapes and an awesome tool called Google Drawings that I hope you all use and love as much as I do. Thanks for watching.